to his stream. So, um, I'm actually waiting for my previous PB video to come up. It's uh, converting right now. Uh, in the meantime, I want to... I'm going to try and beat this PB. And there are two things I'm going to do to accomplish that. Um, what really got me down to 120 was the fact that I got an attack up so early in the run that I was able to beat two extra bosses with an attack up advantage during the entire run. So attack ups really matter. And this has kind of gotten me to rethink how I do money management for this run. And so I looked at the money values some more and I realized that by the time I get sliding powder, which is right after illusion alias 1, I'm I would actually be able to max out on attack ups from the shop, which are the easiest and fastest ways to get power in this run. So that is the first step to improving my time for this run. Only buy attack ups. We don't actually need to buy anything else in this run, except for air dash level 3, which we will naturally have money for by the time we finish the Lilith section. By that point we will have enough money. Um, the other big time saver is that I noticed every time I finished a run, let me see if I can load up a thing real fast. All right, so this is my finished run with a with my current route. So we'll see here that. Uh, oh wait, no, this isn't the right one. Let's see, seven fifteen, seven twelve. Quick bread. Quick bread's not in this. Hmm. This one. Yeah, this one. Although this one has a lot of HP. So this is this must have been an older file. Anyways, um Yeah, I pick up stamina plus now. So I use three badges during this run currently. Stamina plus, toxic orb, attack up. Uh that totals out to 21 points. However, we get 26 pack points. This one has two more than we should have. But I should be able to use this health plus. And when I use the health plus, um, at the HP levels we are at, which is usually around uh, 400, close to 400 by this point in the game, we would gain about, actually let me do some quick math here, how much would we gain? So best case scenario, let's say 350 HP. 7.5% is 26 more HP, which is effectively one health up. So at some point during my run, I can cut out a health up. The only question is, which health up takes the longest amount of time to get? And I have two ideas. One is the health up right after fighting Neve. Um, there's a health up where I have to drop down, and then uh, climb my way back up. That takes about, I would say, 3-4 to four seconds. The other health up I was thinking was in Sky High Bridge, before Vanilla. What we would do is we would take a... We would take the teleporter, go to the right, and then make our way through a slightly tricky platforming section, only because there's two monsters and a thwomp and an enemy. And all that takes about, I would say maybe 10 seconds to pile through. So I think that's the biggest time saver we can make. In addition, um, in order to improve my time, there are two key platforming sections that I need to master, or just uh, get more consistent. And they're pretty obvious areas too, I don't even know if I have a save point for it. Um, I don't think I do. We can use... 
I don't think it really matters. That was my practice. I also want to practice this little trick right here. So I mentioned it the last time I did this run. Uh, I'm gonna wait for this video to finish converting. It's gonna take some time. That was kind of why I wanted to practice here, because uh, right now... Uh, we will get slight frame drops, which is kind of annoying. But maybe if I practice it with the frame drops, I might be able to get it. So, I mentioned this yesterday when I was doing this run. Oh, of course it goes to normal speed once we enter this battle, though. Um, you can actually cause... When you finish this fight, you can actually cause the cutscene to go to the next room. It's something I've been trying to get consistent. I can only do it like 20% of the time right now. And I need to either figure out how to get it consistent, or just practice it a lot. So what you do essentially, Ribbon doesn't have a charged up attack. So the moment this finishes, um, I have to go start walking to the right. And when I do, I'll make it to this entry. And what you're supposed to do, is you're supposed to perform a quick drop like that. And when you perform the quick drop, you end up in this room. And then you can just walk to the left and you'll end up here. That saves you a bit of time. Unfortunately, I cannot do this consistently. And I failed it the last time I did the speedrun. It saves about... Mm, 5 seconds, if you do it right. But you'll notice how I had to do the quick drop at the very, very end. It was very subtle. It's not like I even moved to the right. I just performed the quick drop as the scene was ending. And I w you have to be standing on the ground. That's one thing I noticed too. You can't be in the air when it finishes. You must be on the ground, and you must have performed a quick drop while being on the ground. So again, this is the same scenario. If Ribbon has a charged up attack at this point, what you have to do is you'll, you'll get a delayed finish. If she doesn't have a charged up attack, like in this scenario and the previous scenario, you immediately start walking to the left when this attack finishes, perform the quick drop at the end, hope you get knocked back, and then boom, you're in. And I want to get consistent, because the run can improve by about 5 seconds if I can get this consistently. So that's just something I'm trying to practice on. It's important you let Ribbon end up on your left side, and it's important you perform the quick drop, which gives you the velocity you need. So when you get bumped, you don't get knocked to the right, but you get, or left, you get knocked to the right instead. So usually I start on the left side, and then after she does her last attack, you move to the right afterward, because then she'll naturally move to the right. But you want her to move to the left first. Oh crud, I'm, t I'm too late, I already missed it. You have to be paying attention too. Again, if she doesn't do a charge attack, you immediately start walking to the right when it ends. If she has a charged up attack, she will always perform it. So you have to stay on the left, wait till she moves to the left, then she'll... You stand like at this green crystal, that's about where I stand. So if you pretended that was the end and she shot it, then you would start walking towards the final goal. That would kind of finish it up for you. Anyways, I'm going to practice it a few more times. I've gotten 2 out of 2 so far. Oh wait, well, 2 out of 3 so far, just practicing it live. Unfortunately, it's not very consistent, so I'm trying to get it consistent. So I can save a little bit of time for that split. Uh, I'm too late. So you can see, as long as you perform the... Ah, uh, yeah, I was too late. You have to perform the quick drop pretty high in the air. I don't know if uh, you viewers know this, but if you, the higher you jump and do a quick drop, the more uh, you move. And it's kind of subtle, but you can see if I drop from really high up, I fall, I move a lot more. I'm not pressing left, this is just me pressing down from a quick drop. You move a little bit further. There's a line here I can use for reference. The farther you j uh jump up the farther you fall so the key is to get a full jump in and then do the quick drop to maximize your distance during it um if you're too late though and you're not paying attention like i just did that last round you won't get there in time and then you'll try to do a short quick drop and you just won't cover the distance required to pass it and again you must be on the ground when it finishes you must do a quick drop and you must be on the ground. 
So again, I'm going to move to the left immediately when this attack ends. And that's not going to work. And if you do it too early, Ribbon just kind of walks into you and you don't get the boost you need. And your quick drop fades away, like... It's kind of precise. I was I was surprised how hard it was to actually trigger this. I thought it would be easy, but it's not. Very hard to get this to work. Let's see, is my video almost done? A 60%. Okay, we're getting there. I'm grabbing the new recorded video I finished yesterday. For my PB. That might have worked. Yeah, I got it. So you can see how subtle it is. It's not like you even move to the right. All you need is that quick drop. What I'm guessing it is, is your velocity value is, uh, I'd probably have to look this up or ask somebody who's more experienced with speedruns, but my guess is that your velocity value remains intact through a cutscene, and so when you finish, that velocity is executed and, and you get immediately pushed into the next room. That's what it looks like to me, which is why even though you don't move, you technically still go in the next room. That That's the best way I can explain it right now. So Ribbon hasn't done a charge up attack in a while, which is good, because this is a much easier thing to execute. Yeah, I got it again. So I don't know, it's... It does take some practice, but it looks like I'm getting it better today than I was yesterday. I practiced it a few times and I just couldn't get it at all. But she is also giving me the better one. If she has to do her charge attack... It's a lot harder to time, because you have to be like halfway in the field, that little green crystal. That's what I use as a marker. You kind of have to do the jump at a weird timing. Oh, she ha okay, so here I can demonstrate the charge up version. So she's going to go to the left. Then she's good to her charge attack. You want to stand just after the crystal and then immediately start doing it. And... I didn't get it. I feel like it's a lot harder to get it if you do it... if you have to do it that way. It's much harder, because... I don't have a consistent timing, I don't have a consistent place to stand. It's just way harder to do it that way. But this time she fired her charge shot. So that's good. So ideally you don't want to get hit during that when the bullets are going in because it messes up your timing. Mmm, did that work? No. Dang. So I got like... 4 out of 7. Again, it's still inconsistent. Uh, let's go practice the other jump. I need to really get down. Because I, I choked on it last night. It took me like 4 tries to get the Rabby Slippers. Uh, I don't have a save file for it though. That's kind of annoying. Alright, let's just go with this one. I mean, if I get the skip, that would be awesome. But it looks like it's like a 50-50. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. This is not the way. I need to go back to... Rabby Rabby Park. Oh, why you do this game? Oh my goodness. I'm 
just let me through, please. I've done it so many times, so I feel like I shouldn't choke on it during an actual run. But for some reason I was still doing it. I don't know why. Like, see? That was like, that was technically second try because I just slipped up on the wall edge the first time. I don't know what it is. Some, I, I guess it's just, it was just nerves getting to me or something. Because obviously I can do it fine now. I don't know what it was earlier. Oh, I missed one there. Alright. Well, I feel content with that. That at least I can do it decently. Um, let me see. I'm, I'm waiting for my PB video to finish converting still. 88%. Let me practice getting through this part again. I always like pra practicing platforming sections because it means my time overall improves as I stop messing up like that. Technically I don't have Hammer World during that, so let's not use that just for practice purposes. Alright, I do have to remember to do a forward jump there. It's very important. Flower only takes one hit to kill. I have to remember that. That could give me progress easily. So we can pretend I'm going for attack trade here. I mean, this this area is pretty solid by now. I've pretty much got this down. That part's easy. The second part is the hard part. So get attack trade, fall in. This part is where the jumps get a little tricky. If I kill that, it makes this part way easier to do. That was ugly. Okay. Let me see if I can figure out a good way to do this room. Because this room always gets me somehow. Alright, that was pretty good. Let me try that again. I'm, I'm looking for consistency here. Huh? Can't even do the jump. Alright, if I can do that every time, I'll be pretty happy. Technically, 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 if I get hit um, by the red one, I can just skip it completely. Get the attack up, jump up here. Oh, I can do a wall jump to skip that. That's a good idea. Alright. Um, let me practice that one more time. Just walking through that section. That's annoying. I don't know if I can do anything about that. It's just always standing there. Can I jump up all the way up there? Hmm, I can do a wall jump up there. So... Yeah, that, that would definitely be faster than two jumps. Video just finished. Thanks for that, computer. Alright. So if I get by that one, I can jump through the blue one. So that's probably what I'm gonna do from this point on. Get the attack up here, boom, walk back. Don't think that was a smart idea. Don't do a wall jump there. I've actually fallen for that before. I do do a wall jump up here though to skip those guys. Good. Alright. I'm pretty content with that section now. Um, let me get the video loaded up on my live split here. Because I, I always like to have the my previous PB video running side by side, my actual run. Uh, this is it. For some reason I have to restart it every time uh, I change it. 
I don't know why that is. So I lowered the, the resolution of Rabby Ribby um, in hopes that I do not experience frame drops because I actually lost a little bit of time uh, because I lost frames because I'm on my laptop at home which is way less powerful than my desktop computer I have back where I'm stationed and I didn't want to bring that desktop here so um, hopefully there will be no frame drops during the run and I can save the frames save some time during this run. I'll be starting in just a minute here, just need to pull this back up again. Alright, just need to test it, make sure it's working right, it's not gonna do something dumb on me. Yeah, cause see it might not have started where I wanted it to. So what is that, 10 second delay? Try a 10 second delay. Save. Out. Doesn't have to be exact, I just want it to be reasonable. So I have something to uh, keep my eye on. That one starts now. Boom. Okay, perfect. Uh, it's it's good enough. It needs a little bit more delay, just slightly. How about ten and a half? Ten and a half sounds good. We'll call it there and get started with the run. I would have set this up before the stream, but I'm like, I need to practice some stuff, so I might as well uh, download the video while practicing some stuff. Should be Gucci to start a run. Alright, so hopefully I can make those attack up improvements and get some fatter, faster boss times as well as the ribbon skip and, or not the ribbon skip, the, uh, the cutscene skip and what else? We're missing one health up because we're gonna equip the badge. So hopefully all those will be some nice time improvements. And hopefully I save the frames as well. Let's get started. Kind of awkward. Awkward start. Oh, I got the boost, but I jumped back thinking I would fall back. That's bad. I could have saved a bit of time right there if I did it right. Pretty poor uh, first section. It's okay though. It's not the end of the world. But hey, maybe if I get that ribbon cutscene skip, that would be pretty cool. Please don't charge an attack. Thank you. All right. Well, this looks uh, this looks a little promising. So now I just head over to the right. Did I get it? I don't think I got it. Dang. Uh, missed the split again. It's okay. Not a big deal. I always miss the ribbon split somehow. 
just forget about it. I'm trying to do the intense cutscene. Skip. Not really intense, but you know. Get the idea. Oh man. I released Ribbon's church shot on that one. Didn't want to go off. So we're gonna be about 10 seconds be- oh. 10 seconds behind my current PB. We'll make it up, I promise. We'll make it up through a menu later, because I'll remember to state on the badge menu. That really doesn't give 10 seconds, but um, we're going to save time with boss battles later if we get an extra attack up. Basically every fight after the extra attack up will be faster. And that's where I'm looking to save tons and tons of time. And yes, this run can be cut down even further than what I got last night, for sure. What was that? Just a, like a second hit? Didn't even get my hammer hit off there. Later, Coco. I always gain time on Coco for some reason. Like, I always manage to get faster against her. I think it's just because I... I concentrate... Oh, no. Rip my carrots. I'll get it somewhere else later. I'll get it during uh, UPRPRC bunnies. Although that's gonna mess with my time even more. Mm. Ow. I can get some quick ones here, but I have to do it after I deal major damage with the hammer, because otherwise I'll lose way too much time. A little bit more? Alright, it's not quite what I wanted for delay. You obviously get a lot more delay from the big one, but it's gonna have to do. Um, eventually it'll reach level 2 delay, just not anytime soon, so I might lose a little bit of time on a carrot bomb situation later. This is good. I like where they're positioned right now. And I ruined it. Ruined! Still ended up faster, surprisingly. Which is good news. I actually have never tried comparing. I mean, obviously, Carrot Bomb Delay 1 is longer than Carrot Bomb Delay 2. Ooh, I got the wall bounce off. That's pretty cool. That almost never happens. I, like, spam it frantically and never get it. So we are going to pick this up. It's going to cost us a little bit of time compared to our PB. But it means we can skip a health up that takes like three seconds to get. Or not three, ten seconds to get. So hopefully we save time by swapping that out.
Why is my Ashuri so much better on my PB? I just not screw up. Wait, what? Huh? Oh... She had a huge delay on my other- wow. Okay. So I got really far ahead, but then I screwed up and... I don't know how... wow. She did an extra attack that costed so much more time. I guess it's just based on how low you get her before she decides to do an attack. So I got her, I kept her high enough to where she didn't do her like mid-stage attack, so she switched right to her final attack. But that's because I bursted her after that, I got some very good hits from that point on. Nice, nice. I like it. It's a good start to this run. Not what I was expecting. Ninety four hundred EN. Very nice. I always slow down there just to make sure we get the warp for the town. Because obviously that is very important. So I have vowed not to get anything but attack ups until we have every single attack up. It's going to save us a lot of time later. The earlier we get the attack ups, the faster the run will be. That's what I learned last time. So we'll be able to pick up our second attack up before Rita this time, instead of before Sisini. Meaning we'll have two battles with that extra attack up instead of just one. And that's kind of the key to getting good improvements for this particular uh, speedrun. That's what I'm aiming for. Oh man, I missed all those attacks, that sucks. Do your worst, Kochi, I'm still gonna attack during this. Free damage. Always improving. Alright, get the skip. Uh, yes. Got the skip. We touch the badge, that's like two seconds we don't want. Alright, grab your ribby slippers first, first try, please. No! Second try is what I'll take, because my PB took like five tries. It was terrible. So I'll take it. It will save more time. You can see that carrot bomb delay kicking in now. to land there, not do it. Uh, platforming, please. You can 
get a quick carrot there. Yeah, I got my delay. Nice. Good. That's what I was hoping for. Because I hit both of them, so I got double the experience. Yes. Level 2 delay is back. So that's a very good uh, backup strat if I ever need it. That might actually be faster to train him right there. There's two of them. Hmm. I'll think about that for my future runs. Save time, because I remember to immediately just hit it, because I was in the badge uh, menu. In the past, I would like keep pressing down, and then I would have to navigate back to that menu. It'd just be it silly. Oh, come on. I have to figure out how to avoid that hit, because that hit actually cost me a few seconds. Ooh, don't get knocked down, please. I've had that happen before. That's not fun. Alright, and then we'll have enough money for our next attack up before Rita. Say hello to the blender. Enjoy the wonderful sounds of blending happiness. Sounds more like a machine. At least through my headset. Like a giant whirring machine. Oh, it stays on attack up too. I'll remember that for the future. Uh, we don't need to heal, we're gonna heal right here. So this is new, I have never done this on my route before. Buying that attack up so early. So, this is gonna be interesting. I wonder how fast I'm gonna be able to defeat her now. Oh, we got hit a second time. Usually the invulnerability time is long enough to where I don't have to... I can run right through her. Usually. It's not always the case, apparently. Very important item to get. Saves us a lot of time, especially during Lilith. Oh no, lost time by falling into this water. Or lost time. Rip all the time. We're already committed, we're not gonna stop that attack. 700 damage? What? Already? Dang. That's some damage right there. Nice. Already on her special. She did she like did one attack. It's very good. That attack up was totally worth. Oh no! Oh, Ribbon, please! Why you do this to me? She missed her attack. For some reason that didn't end up being a positive split though. Man. I must have gotten a really fast split on the other Rita fight. Cause dang, that was with an extra attack up too. I wonder if getting that egg is worth it. I've never tried. I mean, it's literally right... Oh wait, no, we don't have sliding powder. Never mind, pretend I didn't say that. No, why lasers? Alright, we're done with that. Silly nonsense. Easy attack. That was not a backwards hammer swing, unfortunately. That's fine. Yes. Be 
silly. More blender stuff. Sorry, can't really mute it what during a speed. We'll just have to listen to the wonderful sounds that is technology. Machinery. I guess it's not really technology, it's more like machinery. Oh, that's unlucky. She jumped. Got her with the backwards hit. I know I got a slightly slow uh, Illusion Alias fight last time, so hopefully this one goes better. If we don't get hit, we won't get the debuffs, and that's really what slows this run down the most. So your goal is to try and not get hit. I mean, that's like basically this whole game. You never want to get hit, but... Aw oh, man, and there goes our not getting hit status. In three seconds because of good navigation. Computer, please. Oh, I didn't use my amulet. Oh! Trying to slide past me, dang. Sneaky. What? Oh, that jerk. Not cool.
I got hit one extra time, so I have to actually lose some time right there. The blunder. Oh, another attack up. Whoops. I screwed up. Oh, and Bunny Strike. Hmm. This changes things. If I go to the shop during that part, I get Bunny Strike. Oh, this is gonna be so good. One attack up increase and Bunny Strike. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Can I one cycle this? What? I just one cycled that. What? Oh my goodness, that is a huge time savings. I can't believe I just one cycled that. Wow. I have no words for what just happened. And I am maxed out on attack ups. Already. 24 minutes into the run. Oh man, this is this is gonna be a new PB. This is crazy. Alright, so this is the health up we're gonna skip. So guess what? Now we just go straight down here. On our merry way. Don't have to waste time getting that thing. Because we're gonna get get a badge instead. That was a pretty slick dodge. Not even intentional, really. That was a bad start though. Usually I would chunk her for half her health at least at the start. So not a not a good way to start this. And I have Bunny Strike now, I'm not used to that. Bunny Strike is very powerful. I have to be using it. I have to be abusing it, I should say. I'm going to be saving my amulet for her final attack. Oh, I ran into her. That's not good. I'm probably going to safety heal here just to be safe. Plus, we can get some... Use some... Ab abuse some... Dang. Words. Abuse some boost. Strats. I've been thinking about it. How much... How much time would I gain by abusing the boost system? I think I would gain quite a bit. I actually lost some time, surprisingly, because of that uh, initial start to vanilla. I got her down to almost half HP last time, so... I want to say I screwed that fight up, because that was not good. After such a strong one cycle during uh, the Rainbow Miku fight, I think I just screwed it up. That's okay. I was expecting like a bigger lead off of that. But I messed up on the fight, unfortunately. Ah! Game's being rough on me right now. It's like, you did well! I'm gonna remind you, this is a speedrun, and anything can happen in a speedrun. Every, everything bad that can happen will happen. 
the game's gonna constantly remind me about that. It's not a speedrun unless something goes wrong. Oh no, the bunny strike! Oh, thank goodness. That killed. I would have lost so much time if I had to do that attack. Well, not lose time, because my PB had to suffer through that too, but... That would have been time I would have liked to gain, considering how low she was. Wow. Got here in under 30 minutes. New record. What am I doing? Let's go. That was very sloppy. Piano lessons too, huh? This game's so cruel sometimes. Safety heal. No! I would have had some larger time savings if I hit her there. Just didn't have the damage, the attacks for it. You know what would be sad if I died here? Better not die here. That would be the silliest thing ever.
Oh no. Man. Lasers. Oh, come on. I need those yellow bullets to hit. Still making time. Still making time. So next up is air dash level 3, refill on consumables. Well, 2 can... Actually, it'll only be a donut for now. I don't even know. Money's pretty tight because I went for the very, very early attack ups. What? Oh no, can't get your dash level three. Mm. Hmm. Maybe I should have picked up that egg. 7850, nope, still not enough. I would have gone back and gotten it, because it's definitely worth it, but. All right, looks like we're gonna have to improvise. Man, it's so much slower than air dash level 2, but it's still gonna help. We'll still cover our distance with it that we need to, to kill enemies and stuff. That's an unfortunate. It really is. What? Uh... Oh my goodness. Okay. Shortcut. Actually, it might be better to go that way. Now yeah, we'll kill stuff. Because there is a teleporter I can stop by and pick it up. Because we don't go- oh god. We don't go to the shop again. For quite some time, so... Um, yeah. Definitely gonna try to pick that up. On the way. We'll just have to improvise. Man, it's definitely not as speedy. It's definitely faster than sliding because we just bump into everything and fall back and stuff. So, lose a little bit of time here. Um, in the future, I think I'll pick up the one extra egg in Sky High Bridge that will give me enough money to purchase it. I just have to take a detour for one extra egg in my route. But yeah, that was a pretty big mistake on my part. Cause it's a it's a new uh it's a new route. I did not expect to get all five attack ups so early. It also means I burned through my money reserves. Oh god. Messed up. I'm supposed to have boost for this, but I used it by accident. Oh god, I have no consumables, I have to remember that. Let's take this a little slow for safety. Oh, I missed. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh 
Hello? This is rough. This is a very rough situation. I think I lose a little bit of time there. Very hard to make uh, improvised decisions like that. It's a really challenging part of the run. I mean, that's speedrunning in a nutshell, when you have to improvise. Backup struts, that's why you gotta have them. That was supposed to be a bunny strike. That's fine. Okay. Definitely lost a little bit of time having to backtrack. good attack. Takes a long time to finish though. Good time. 
time savings. Oh. Fell down. I think I did the platforming sections pretty dang well. I've got them down now, for the most part. I know where I have to go, where I have to be, what move I have to use at what point to clear enemies, stuff like that. Except for that, apparently. I lost my bunny strike, wow. Or I mean, I lost SP for bunny strike, dang. Ah. What? That was supposed to be another bunny strike. I'm just messing up all around. She should have been below half by, like, way earlier. Man, that was pretty rough. Doesn't usually end up being that way. Eh. Still not enough, dang. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty slow Shadow Rita fight. Illusion Rita, whatever you want to call her. Got the pack up, so that'll save a little time buying one later. That's actually a time gain. What did I just do? Hello? Tried to do a super carrot, instead I just threw a carrot on the ground. Oh man. Oh, you were done with this attack, dang it. Oh. I thought that would hit her or something. She's over there, of course.
I'm pretty sure this is not faster. I mean... Oh my goodness. Okay, this is bad, because I only have 80 HP going into the spike area. It is possible that I could die during the spike area, so I have to pay extra special attention to that uh, particular area. That's the risk I take by running through that so fast. Yeah, I got I got a little careless there. That's that's just my fault. That should not have happened. I took that risk, of course. Good clear. I mean, there's always a potential to die. It's just whether or not you're gonna actually respected the attacks or not. Dang. Where's my bunny strike? I didn't restore to full HP, that's annoying. Also, technically, I shouldn't spend all my money there, because if I can encounter Nixie... ...or Neve, I could have bought a buff. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough money this time around, so... That's something I can do in the future, keep that in mind. I have some money to buy buffs for that part. I don't care if I get hit too much here. Shouldn't have too much trouble with this fight. Good start. Avoided the shrink, that's a huge time save as well. Oh. Dang. Trying not to get hit as much as possible here. That way I have enough health to take on the low guy low guys quickly. It's very hard to maintain health here. Without taking too much damage. Good, they're trapped in a corner. 
which is exactly what I'm looking for. So I lost a little bit of time because I became small, but it looks like overall the fight went very well, so I didn't actually lose that much time. Nice. Like I had some time gains during that fight. So that's awesome. Let's go! Another PB hype. Ah. I didn't upgrade auto earrings this time, but it might be okay. We have enough damage. This is the part where it slows down a little bit because I don't have enough MP. So I gotta wait for MP to come back. I'm gonna be a little quiet here because this is like the part I hate the most about this run, so uh, just need a little bit of focus. Alright, we're good. Dying during that part really sucks, so I always try 
pay attention during that part nowadays. We're gonna be abusing donuts. Very good. Oh, I always mess that up. I need to stand closer to the... I need to face left, but stand to the right in order to best accomplish that. I messed it up. Like, this shouldn't be that hard. Looking for buffs. Please? There's Neve. Looking for Nixie. Please be lucky. No, no, Nixie. Nixie's the best buff. Gives a. Oh, wait, no, Neve is. Never mind. I got the best buff. Neve gives defense down, which means more damage. Oh, how could I mess that up? That was a bad start. With defense down, I should have gotten in at least a quarter damage. That's more like 20%. Good, this is really good. Can we burst her down? That's the real question. Yes! I did it before recovery! Huge time saving! If she gets her recovery off, it's another like 20 seconds. Why is my background changing so much? My computer's background is changing, and every time it does, my computer lags. It just changed twice in a row. Even though I said to change every 24 hours, that is definitely not 24 hours don't understand. Oh, we got some good time savings for this run. I'm excited. First time I got a uh, no recovery chocolate. That was good. Really good. Good, we got Nixie. If we could really get Rita, that would be awesome. So we have enough badge points for this. And what? Two, five, six. Do I go and buy the pack up? I'm gonna buy it. I need it. We're gonna buy two just to be safe. Because I definitely need that health plus to make this work. That was the whole point of me saving time and not picking up health ups earlier. Alright, well, we 
didn't get lucky enough to get, uh... Rita. Rita gives us defense, which means I can be more aggressive. Alright. So here we go. This is it. Just have to play well. And we're home free. Should end up with a potential two-minute save here. Looks like we're gonna be sub-120. Sub-120 hype. forgot about that. Oh, what a waste of a super carrot. Safety heal. Why do I have one donut? That's kind of awkward. Still making up time. Ah. So I've only got two care cakes left. That's kind of interesting. I didn't know I used one up earlier. Uh, I probably should have taken that. That would have been a speed up in terms of damage. Definitely needed that giant buff.
Oh, I don't know how to dodge it. I can't ribbon shoot. Ribbon can't shoot when there's stamina down. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, mana. That's right. So I never learned how to properly avoid the three... Well, just the giant blue bullets in general. Like, I never learned how to properly avoid it. Or if there is a way to properly avoid it. I just use amulets most of the time, but obviously that wasn't an option, because I used up all my amulets. So... So there's that. I'm a scrub and don't know how to avoid it. I'll have to learn it. I'll have to figure out a consistent way to do it so I don't screw that up the next time if that situation ever occurs. Because usually, you're pretty safe if you have one amulet charge to avoid anything. So usually I hold on to just one. But for some reason, this particular attack, I don't know how to use more than just one amulet charge. That's not good. Huh. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I should probably just safety heal to be safe, because this next attack sucks. Huh. Go ahead. Uh, super care ready. Honey strike and super care are not ready. That kind of sucks for this part, because I need to be doing damage here, but I can't. Wow. I guess I just had to dodge. I thought I had, like, stuff to use. Man, that's rough. No bunny strike. No carrot. Running into everything. Alright, we got it. So I screwed up on Noah 2 last time. I couldn't burst her down fast enough, so hopefully I don't make that mistake again. We'll see. I thought Super Care was ready. What? It literally said Super Care ready. My eyes were not deceiving me, I'm pretty sure. That sucks. Ah! Zero offense! Wow. Oh, what am I doing? Amulet charge. Hmm. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. I'll just wait it out. I'll wait it out. I got this. This is a kill. Yes! Huge savings. Good. I'm a 
messed up. Almost timed that carrot wrong. Whoopsies. What? Aw, oh, cheater. That's not the move I wanted you to do. Oh god, why'd this move? Hopefully we get the giant attack here. That would be awesome. Man. Give me the giant, Noah. Please. Ah, oh, great. Um, that's... That's okay. That's not what I'm looking for, though. Ideally, we won't want this attack, because we can't really do much during this attack. Alright, this is good. That's what I'm looking for. Giant bunny on the way. Big damage. Probably get the safety heal here, right after this is done. 39, what is... yeah, I would die if I got hit by that. Because 50% of 39 is... Uh, 59? Uh, I would have lived, actually. Barely. I would have done 59 damage to me. And I had 61 HP. Alright, we're doing lasers now? Okay. Somehow I messed up that double jump. Funny Strike was not ready. Now it is. Good. Super Carrot's ready too. Okay. You asked for it, Noah. One seventeen thirty one. Woo. Yes. A never ending improvement. All right. So here's why this run went well. Well, for one, I'm getting better at platforming. Two, I was able to max out on attack ups before. Uh, what was it? Uh, let me check. So I maxed up on attack ups by... by vanilla. Which was 25 minutes into the run. So at 25 minutes, I bought all 5 attack ups from the shop. Gaining a huge boost in damage. That snowballed into faster fights. Uh, platforming was pretty dang good. The only big mistake I made was I didn't have enough money because I did. I ended up buying all the attack ups to buy Air Dash level three, and because of that, I had to backtrack and get Air Dash level three after getting a little bit more money. Probably lost like 20 seconds there. I also gained a bit of time because I didn't have to get a health up that takes some tricky platforming to get which is at Sky High Bridge. It's easy to get, but it requires a lot of platforming work, and that's like 15 seconds lost if I go for it. So instead I went for the Health Plus badge, because I get enough pack points for it. At least I should have, but I forgot to buy a pack up. And yeah, that basically did it for me. So 117.31. That's pretty good. I'll be able to get a faster time 
once I get back to my duty station, because I'll have my fast computer. Man, it really sucks not being able to get full frame rate for this run right now, because my laptop just can't handle it. It was a little better, I think, but not a ton better, because I went with the lower resolution. Um, it's definitely noticeable on the stream, I'm pretty sure, that if you compare it to my previous uh, streams. Alright, well, I got other stuff to do. Uh, so I'm gonna call it here. For those that tuned in, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. 11731 is my new PB. I'm gonna keep improving it. It'll get faster and faster every time I run, hopefully. Um, thanks for watching.